What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! What's going on? Guess what? I got a little snap-on tool haul that I want to show you, and it's right there. So, stick around. We're going to check this thing out. Let's jump right into it. Not mess around. Now, it's not quite as big as I wanted to for a tool haul, but I wanted to talk about these because people are going to ask, CP, you're a big advocate of the Mac RBRT bits, so why did you get these? What I What did I get? I got some snap-on speedball hex. So I thought I got a $200 rubber band too. Look at that snap-on $200 rubber band. <laughs> I thought these were, I thought these were an awesome deal. I got both sets here. They're on they're on promo. Um, let's see what the part number is on this, guys. Yeah, of course I can't see it. Oh, there it is. So there's the part numbers. We'll get it up here. Get ready to get your screenshot and abilities ready. So the metric and the standard part numbers right there, ball hex sockets. These are fantastic. And the reason I'm gonna talk to you a little bit, I don't have, let me see if I have, yes I do. <clears throat> so I do have some Mac ball hex sockets, but I don't have any of the RBRT ones. And we're gonna talk a little bit really quick of why I don't have and the RBRTs, and why I'm not going to be getting any of the RBRT bits in the Speedball Hex. So, these sets, let's just talk a little bit about the quality. Snap-on's quality is unmatched. <clears throat> let me grab a... Let me grab a, a Snap-on ratchet. We'll just grab this 3 8 Roto, because it tends to be a lot of one I grab a lot. So, let's just talk about the quality. So, these are nitride coated sockets, hardened alloy steel. You know, they are near flawless, unconditioned. They are really, really good. You can see there's no blemishes in the sockets. These are super strong, super awesome. And so, the standard set is definitely a little bit different for the ball hex. So, the, so you can see these are a gold nitride, and I think they do that for color differentiation. So that way you know a metric from the standard, which is really cool, which is why I like these uh, snap-on ball hexes. Um, this one is the 7 8 or 7 30 seconds ball hex, and it's got like a alloy finish, and this is a gold nitride finish. So if you look at the ball tips of these, you'll notice that these are flat. That's very important. Now, I looked at the RBRT Mac speedball hexes, and I've also talked to a few people, and I literally did not like the information, nor did I like the, the speedball hexes that I, I saw. So I, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I don't advocate anybody buying the speedball uh, RBRT bits. I think they're garbage. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to lie about anything or pretend that you know something's awesome when I know that it's not. Like I've always said, some products are just not all that they cracked up to be. Snap-on doesn't always have everything. Mac doesn't always have everything. Matco, Cornwell, etc. That's why I have these, because I think these are the best ball hex sockets on the planet. I think these are awesome. And let's go ahead and give you a little bit of reason why. And speed ball hexes are definitely useful. So if you notice, like I said, the flatness of the tip on those, this is a Mac one. Notice anything funny about that? Well, unfortunately, Mac, which this is a 6mm, let's get rid of the standard one. So I'm comparing apples to apples. These are an older set, but the speed haul, ball hex design is not changed on the Mac ones. The reasons why I don't like these ones are is because they slip out. That's, that socket right there slip, slides in there. Hold on one second. Alright, so we're going to use a 6mm socket for reference just because this is a magnetic cornwall one and i can kind of show you exactly what i mean so this socket if you see this on the angle of this when it's coming out when you go to twist on this that'll pop out like this now i want to show you what it looks like on the mat on the snap on one see how much deeper the angle is on that let's look at that again do you see that do you notice the deep the depth of the angle because of that flatness, it keeps it in the socket f farther. So if you're on a hard angle and you're trying to take out a fastener, 
you're not going to get that spinning and, and it's not going to want to pop out of there. It really hangs on to the socket a whole lot better to this socket, but it hangs on to the fastener, your hex cap, which, uh, hold on one second. All right, so I actually forgot that I do have hex cap screws on. Unfortunately, I have them in stock. Or for, fortunately, I, for, I remembered I do have hex cap screws here. Um, <clears throat> normally, it's hard to find them. So anyways, here we are, hex cap screw on the Mac one. The steeper angle with the rounded tip on it it definitely doesn't bite in as well as the snap-on does now it might be preference it might be some guys and obviously this is a t-handle so it's not the same but this is what i've been using for a long time i just never upgraded uh i wanted something for you know obviously my new palm drive thought it'd be real nice for that motorcycle stuff is mainly the reason why i use a lot of ball hex on on motorcycle stuff so I really, really, really uh, just trust these ball hexes on the snap-on version. I have twisted off a couple of these tips on these, on these Mac ones. I've had these for a long time. You'll notice these are not normal handles of what you can get now. These are different. These have been. I've had these for a long time. I've used them for a long time. They have worked. Um, nothing terrible about them, but... Every, I've noticed when I get on steep angles on these, they slip out. And I'm assuming that's the biggest reason is because that ball in <clears throat> is rounded. And I noticed on the RBRT lines, they really haven't changed that any, where the snap-ons are flat. Uh, and you can see the engagement almost. See where it's actually engaging deeper on the, on the, round, on the edge there? That right there is a good indication, whereas this one... You see where it's up way right there on the on the very corner of that which <clears throat> i've had these slip out and they've, they've been in the pain in the butt so you know uh 100 a piece is basically what i gave this this set was on promo and i don't know if it still is for this month but i definitely thought for a hundred dollars it was definitely time for me to jump on board with some snap-on ball hex this kit the standard kit runs 3 eighths to 5 30 seconds in the standard. Um, so it does skip some size. It's 5 30 seconds, 3 16, 7 30 seconds, quarter inch, 5 16, 3 eighths. Covers most of your basic standard sizes. And then the metric set runs 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, skips 9, and 10 millimeter. I don't know why it skips nine because I've actually run into I probably have to buy a nine because I've actually used a nine I think a couple times but these are what I advocate for the best use these, these are for ball hex I definitely recommend the snap-on version nothing crazy for my snap-on tool haul but uh, I've been trying to keep it light not buy a ton of tools <laughs> you know coming into the end of this COVID things and whatnot I just want to uh Kind of keep my ducks in order and whatnot. But uh, that's what I got, guys. So snap on ball hex. Uh, titanium nitro, nitrate coated. You know, these are these are definitely strong and they're great sockets. Definitely recommend these. If you're looking to buy these over the RBRT speed bits, I definitely would say to stay away from the RBRT speed bits, speed hexes for the max side. Um, these are the best ones to get. That's just my opinion. Just my thoughts. Something to let you guys know before you go out and do it. Do it. Anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.